Good afternoon, everyone. It is Thursday, December the 5th, 2019. It is currently 12.10 p.m. Central Time, and this is a live broadcast for the Theology Central podcast. Now, I'm sorry for the little rough beginning right there, but um, I had no idea if we actually went live on the air or not. So, my My screen is telling me we are live, but it didn't do the normal thing. So I'm going to go along with the fact that we are live on the air. And if you're listening to this live broadcast, welcome. Thank you for tuning in. And we're, well, this is all going to be about updates and a new introduction and all kinds of different things like that. So I appreciate you listening. And if you happen to hear a recording of this live broadcast and you would like to be able to listen to us when we're actually live, and listen to all of our podcasts, please do me a favor. Please, 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 please. I beg of thee, right? Go to the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store and do a search for Spreaker. That's S-P-R-E-A-K-E-R. S-P-R-E-A-K-E-R. Spreaker. And get the Spreaker app. It's absolutely free. Uh, In your app store, it will say something along the lines like Spreaker Podcast Radio. It is free. Please get it. Oh, I I just realized I made a mistake. I have the phone here. But see, this is not a a normal podcast. This is an introduction and update. So if the phone rings, we'll just have to live with it, okay? So Spreaker Podcast Radio, that's what you're looking for. Download the app. Once the app is downloaded, do a search for VBC, which stands for Victory Baptist Church. That is us. Once you find VBC, you'll tap on our logo. It will open up our profile. And we'll say VBC by Victory Baptist Church. Tap on the words Victory Baptist Church. It will open up a screen that will, at the top, it'll be a big yellow button that says follow. Tap on that follow button. Please, please, I implore you, tap on that follow button. Underneath will show all of our podcasts. Hermeneutics 101. We're still trying to figure out what we're going to do with that podcast. Socratic Circle. Mm, I need to figure out what I'm going to do with that podcast. (laughs) All right. Uh, Theology Central. Voila, you're listening to us. The VBC podcast, which is going to be more of our sermons. We're going to talk about all of this in a minute. Um, The Theology Musings podcast. That's there for SoundCloud. That's a whole different story. The VBC Bible Institute. That's there as well. There's a lot. Okay. So you can go through Tap on each one. There'll be a little star in, I think, the right-hand corner. Tap on that. That will make us your favorite. Now, guess what? You're following us. We're your favorite. You should then get notifications when we go live on the air and when we upload new content. If you're having any problems, any difficulties, any confusion, any questions, email me at newsif at yahoo.com. Newsif at yahoo.com. And guess what? I will not respond. No, I will respond with all the answers to all of your questions in regards to the Spreaker app, not to anything else, okay? Because anything else, I'll probably respond to your question with a question because I don't like to give answers. I like to force people to find answers, all right? Because then you will appreciate the answer far more than if I just give you the answer, even though that irritates people to no end. And that's why no one asks me any questions for my church, because they don't want, they don't want to receive a question in return. So, so they don't ask me any questions. So, so it makes me really sad. All right. So here's what we're going to do today for this impromptu live broadcast to talk about a new introduction and to talk about some updates on some important things, all right? So let's do this. We have a new introduction and we have two versions of this introduction. And guess what? I need you, the listening audience, to decide. Which introduction should we go with, all right? You get to vote. If you don't vote, I pick, (laughs) all right? In fact, to be honest, even if you vote, I still may pick, but we will see, all right? Um, You can vote. You can pick which one we should go with, or you can pick option number three, which is none of them. So we have two new introductions that we can possibly use for the Theology Central podcast. We don't have introductions for all the others. 
we may go to that or not. This was something that we were able to do and I thought I would try it. It was, it was no big deal. And if it works, then we may use it for all of them. If not, then who knows? It just depends on reaction and, and how I feel about it. But um, you, So your option is going to, to be two different introductions. You listen to both. You decide if you like any of them, or you can say, don't use one at all. It's up to you. All right, here we go. Let's listen to introduction number one. And this is an introduction for the Theology Central podcast. Here we go. Looking at our world from a theological perspective, this is the Theology Central podcast, making theology central. All right, that is introduction number one. Let me try it again. Looking at our world from a theological perspective, this is the Theology Central podcast, making theology central. All right, now, we could have made it longer. We could have written out more. I just wanted to at least try it. But that's how it sounds with just the voice. Now, here is introduction number two. Looking at our world from a theological perspective, this is the Theology Central Podcast, making theology central. There is introduction number two. Now, same words, same script being read. However, one has the the background music, right? The music is nothing overwhelming. We don't have any voice effects that we could have added. We don't have anything like that. It's just pretty straightforward, but it does add a little element to the beginning of a podcast, right? When people find podcasts on Spotify, they find them all, um, all over the place. That little introduction can give them the perception that it's a more professional podcast, and it may give them the feeling of wanting to to listen more. Maybe, don't know, may not even be worth it. But it didn't. It was no. It didn't cost us anything uh, to to try this. So I thought we would try it. So here we go. Or I should say, there was a minimal cost, nothing of any significance. All right. So here we go. I'm going to play the second one again. Looking at our world from a theological perspective, this is the Theology Central Podcast, making theology central. Now, you can let me know. Option one or option two, basically the same words. Option one, no music. Option two, music. You can tell me which one we should go with, all right? And then we'll see how we're going to manage those um, those introductions, um, how we're going to, how, how they will be utilized. We'll have to try some different things and see how they work, but you can let me know um, which one you like, or if you don't like any of them, if you prefer me not having an introduction. When I come in, when they, after they say making theology central tune and then the music come in, I'm still going to say good afternoon or good morning, everyone. It is Thursday, December the 5th, 2019. Welcome. I'm not, I'm not going to say the Theology Central podcast or anything along those lines because that will already be taken care of. But I will still give the date. And uh, the reason I usually give the date and time, a lot of people ask me, is because it places what I'm saying. You have a, a, a time date reference. If I make a reference to something, you, you know, oh, okay, that's something that was occurring in December of 2019, or that's something that was going on in November of, of 2019. You have some kind of reference to, to put it in there. Now, it's not necessarily um, something I need to do when I'm doing a devotional or something along those lines, but I just like to let people kind of have an idea of what they're listening to when it was actually made. Uh, because even if I'm doing a devotional, I may make a reference to something in culture or a reference to something going on in the world as an illustration. You still have some kind of historical perspective to put that in there. So maybe that's not even necessary, but I've always done it and probably always will because now it's almost a habit. And if I don't start that way, I don't know how to start. So who knows? I could probably retrain myself, but you know, do I need to? Who knows? So there, there is the thing I wanted to play for you. Those are the introductions. Let me know what you think. You can say yay, nay, one or two or none or whatever. Let me know. Newsif at yahoo.com. Newsif at yahoo.com. Newsif at yahoo.com. All right. 
Some other important updates. Uh, we have started the VBC Bible Institute podcast. It's kind of a weird thing we're trying. Basically a Bible Institute, but in the form of a podcast. I know this is kind of weird, but we do allow people to sign up and be an active participant in the Bible Institute. And when they finish a course, we're going to try to have it set up. We'll send them a certificate showing that they have completed all the required work and assignments for it. Now, people don't have to do that. They can just listen. So it's going to be hard to measure the success of what we're trying. If people are listening, and even if they're not actively engaged in doing some of the assignments and reading and doing and writing and doing some of the things that we'll be asked to do, if they're still learning and still helping them in their discipleship and growing as a Christian and growing in knowledge, then I think we're still accomplishing something. But it's going to be a very systematic study of different topics and, and basically having courses. I mean, the course we're doing right now is on Psalm 119. So I, I don't know how, I mean, I, I've said it multiple times now in uh, the podcast for uh, the VBC Bible Institute. It may crash and burn. It may not be that successful, but you have to try things. You have to try things. And then, and then based off the success you experience, you either determine if, if it's worth the time and effort or if you should just move on to something else. So we will see, you know, we will see. Um, be on the lookout. We may get rid of the Hermeneutics 101 podcast. Um, and, and then when things relate to hermeneutics, we'll put, them under, we'll put it under the Theology Central podcast. And if I preach a sermon dealing with a hermeneutical issue, that will be posted in the VBC podcast, which is going to focus on the pulpit ministry of Victory Baptist Church. So if I'm doing a special recording dealing with theology, it'll be or dealing with hermeneutics, it's going to move to the Theology Central. I think we're going to do away with the Hermeneutics 101. I don't want to lose the stuff that's there. We just may leave it there and then people will have access to that information. Um, we could try to move those podcasts over to one of the others, but I don't think we're going to be doing a lot with it. The Socratic Circle, oh, that's a hard one because... Uh, there's so many topics I want to do. I want I like to talk about. I could talk about music. I could talk movies. I could talk books. There's so many things I could just talk about philosophy. And the Socratic Circle kind of gives me a, a leeway to just kind of approach it, not necessarily from a theological perspective, but from just to talk about it. And I want that to be there, but trying to maintain it, um, I, I have to I have to decide how much uh, where I'm going to put my time and my effort. So we will see about that one. I'm probably going to keep it. And then just see what I can do. But the VBC Bible Institute, that uh, podcast is available. It's on Spreaker. You go under uh, Victory Baptist Church and pull up our profile. You can find it. The VBC Bible Institute uh, podcast is also available. It should be available now on all major podcast platforms. It should be. It should be available on Apple, Google, Spotify, Deezer, Podcast Attic, uh, I don't know all the different platforms. Uh, What's it? Crashbox, Cashbox, can't remember the name of that one. There's so many different ones. Um, should be available on all of them, uh, but if you have the Spreaker app, then you don't have to worry about it. And the good thing about the Spreaker app, if you have it, whenever I add, a, if I add a new show or do anything, I mean, it's just right there. You don't have to, you don't have to try to, find, I mean, it's just right there. You just subscribe to everything and it's right there. I know that some people already have other pa uh, podcast platforms that they prefer to use and apply, uh, podcast apps that they prefer to use. Um, but hopefully the Spreaker one won't cause too much trouble. And maybe maybe your favorite uh, podcasts are available on Spreaker as well. So hopefully we, we, we uh, all we can do is look for the best platform for us. Spreaker is best for us because I can do exactly what I'm doing right now. I can go live. And going live is my preference I prefer to go live than sitting here in an empty room hitting the record button and because this is what happens. I hit the record button and I say, welcome everyone to the Theology Central podcast. It is Thursday, December the 5th, 2000. Uh, I don't like the way that sounds. Hit stop. All right. Do it again. Welcome everyone to the, th uh, uh, I don't really like how I, I kind of messed that up. Stop, delete. And I stop, delete, stop, delete, stop, delete, stop, delete, stop, delete. And, it, and by the time you get to number 20 or number 30, guess what? It's no longer fun. It's now just stressful. It's, 
It, it just, and that, and I, and trust me, the reason I say this is I've experienced this before, back when I was doing news and focus and it started turning, it turned into a nightmare. Uh, the success of that, that, that podcast exploded way beyond anything I was prepared to deal with. It became this all consuming thing. It, it was detrimental to my health. It was detrimental to my family. It was detrimental to my church. And so I don't want to get back into that kind of situation. And that's why I'm not doing the news and focus anymore. Because to do news and focus, this is what it's required. You wake up, guess what you do? <laughs> you start watching the news. And guess what you do? You have to maintain, new, watch news, watch news, watch news, watch news. And then figure out, okay, here, okay, these articles I'm, I need to record on. And it just became, it became more, because I'm trying to do other things as well. So what I'm doing this time in any attempts to do podcasts is picking the things I want to do and trying to make it as enjoyable as possible but keeping it focused on things that are not detrimental to my spiritual life, being able to record when I want, how I want, and uh, not bound, but when you're bound by news, you're bound by time. The news article, like today, uh, Nancy Pelosi uh, re uh, released a statement they're going to start uh, doing articles of impeachment. Okay, if I'm going to record on that, I needed to record on that literally as it was happening or soon after, it would be no later than today. I would be bound to, fo to focus on that. When you're doing news stuff, you're bound by time. When you're doing spiritual stuff, you're not necessarily bound by time. So, so I'm, I'm trying a different approach not to avoid some of those pitfalls that happened before. So that's, that's what we're doing. So let's, let's just, I'll end this live update uh, and, this, and just with this kind of a structure of how things are going to be organized so that you know, and then we'll, we'll end this. I'm going to be back here shortly. There's a lot of things I want to talk about today. I've got the audio file from a, a Dwight Pentecost. Uh, I'm taking a course on the doctrine of discipleship and... Uh, the, the course is made up of lectures by Dwight Pentecost on it. And he does an interesting thing in how he defines what a disciple is. And so um, I'm going to play the clip from the lecture that I was listening to. Um, and I'll do that in a podcast, uh, a live broadcast coming up here shortly. But I just wanted to introduce, the, I wanted everyone to hear the new introduction and then just give an update on kind of everything going on behind the scenes. And so here's what we'll do. Uh, we are in the process. This is an update that's important. Uh, our church, which is located literally in the middle of nowhere, we are uh, we are entering uh, 2019. We're getting Wi-Fi. Oh, wow. Yes, because there was a, a large amount of time that Wi-Fi wasn't available in that area because cows don't need Wi-Fi, okay? Because there was nothing else there, okay? But now there's some people, so we're going to get Wi-Fi. All right, that's good news, all right? Because now we may be able to do live streaming of all of our sermons from Victory Baptist Church. That could be good. Um, and, and because as soon as I'm done preaching, it's already uploaded. So that could be good. And we're gonna create a little kind of an office there for me where I can go do recordings and live broadcasts from the church. And the reason that would be so beneficial is if you've listened to any live broadcast. Like uh, just right, I mean, I was just about to hit the go live button when a UPS delivery came to my door. Dogs went crazy. Live broadcast would have been ruined. Um, I started this live broadcast and sitting here next to me, don't know if you can hear it. Uh, where's the speaker? Right, here it is. I forgot to remove the phone. Okay, that means that could ruin the live broadcast. At the church, no UPS deliveries, no phone. It's just me uh, in an office recording. So what we did is we decided to purchase a, la a laptop uh, for this new office setup we're going to have. Now, <laughs> we hope we made a right decision. It was a, it was a laptop that was recommended um, by someone saying it's one of the best, and we read a number of reviews saying it's one of the best. However, the price of it was in the thousand, well, well over a thousand, and we were like, we can't afford that. But they were doing like a Cyber Monday extended sell um, at Dell.com, and they had dropped the price to seven ninety nine, which with tax is like eight hundred and sixty six dollars. Now that's an insane amount of money for a small church to spend. I'm not. 
I'm hyperventilating uh, because I don't know if we made the right decision, but we had to make the decision there. If we were going to buy a laptop, it was, you know, we we're going to be in the hundreds, obviously easy. Uh, so um, we think we made the right choice. We hope the setup will, will allow for maybe a, a, a better sounding podcast um, and allow for um, better streaming if we do live streaming of our sermons. Um, we think the setup will be better and advantageous to everything that we want to accomplish, and we hope that it will work. If it doesn't, well, <laughs> then we we made a really bad financial decision. So we will see. Um, one of the men of the church will, is willing to put in uh, some some money to help cover it, um, and so we'll, we'll hope it goes well. Just uh, you know, just pray that again financially. That one of the good. I mean, we're a small church. And I'm just always grateful that the church is using its resources to help support our outreach online because um, if they didn't, we wouldn't have it. So um, just be, I'm, I'm thankful for that. And if you appreciate what we do, be thankful to the members of Victory Baptist Church for supporting it. Okay, so that's going on. Now, uh, one other update. And we'll, once that all gets set up in the church, I mean, I don't think I'll need to tell you. You'll probably hear the difference of sound. You'll probably hear the difference and... Uh, you, and it and basically I can just get in the car on a day on a day go up there spend two hours three hours knock out three or four recordings and then just come home and be done I don't have to be what, walking around the house looking for an opportunity oh, okay all right y'all leaving now okay I can do oh wait this is going on and look for that one little opportunity I can just go and knock it out and just be done for the day that will actually be a, a relief just go get it finished done and actually will give me more time. Uh, to do other things. So I think it will ultimately be beneficial in this case, all right? And then lastly, just know that you know the structure of everything. Um, the Theology Central podcast will be the talking about news, talking about whatever I want to talk about, the kind of the more daily podcast recordings and live broadcasts. That's going to be Theology Central. We're going to be, but we're going to be looking at everything from a theological perspective, and it's going to be, sometimes it'll be a, a daily devotional. It could be anything related to theology, church history, anything, you know, hermeneutics, hermeneutics, it could be anything, but it's not going to be sermons preached from the pulpit. It's just going to be the normal discussion. So that's what Theology Central is going to be about. VBC podcast will be ultimately, it's where the sermons are going to be found, all right? The non-Catholic Catholic podcast, I didn't name that one earlier, that's going to deal with everything related to Catholicism and our teaching on Catholicism. That's where it's going to go. Um, and Socratic Circle will be more about philosophy, popular culture, um, and that kind of uh, approach. And Hermeneutics 101, probably nothing else is going to be added to it. So if you see things in the Hermeneutics 101 podcast that you want, download them now, all right? download them now. That's the best I can say there. All right. I think that's all the updates. I'm sorry. It's a little, a little not organized, but I just want to give everyone kind of an idea what's going on. The main thing, okay, this is what I ask of everyone who hears this. Get the Spreaker, Spreaker app, Spreaker, not speaker, Spreaker app, and please hit the follow button, okay? Please. We... Uh, with the thousands of people who are using our standalone church app, now we've moved over to Spreaker. And if you look at the number of people following, obviously thousands of people either are just using the Spreaker app and not bo bothering to hit the follow button, can't find the follow button, or they did not move over. So that, that's what we were afraid of when we moved away from the, the standalone church app, but we really didn't have a choice. And for the money that we're going to charge us, I mean, 140 a month. I mean, you figure that just in a couple of months. Well, we 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 have already paid for the 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 laptop that that we just purchased. So you see how see how that kind of works. So I think ultimately we're saving money where, that we can do other things. So uh, and I think I think we made the right decision there because the new uh, standalone church app platform was not conducive to what we were trying to do. So I think that's everything. Let me know what you think about the introductions, and we will be back at a later time. My voice is doing a little bit better today, so hopefully I can knock out some recordings here shortly. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say goodbye for now. We'll be back shortly with some live broadcasts dealing with a variety of topics. Hopefully, 
you will find one of the live broadcasts that we do today to be beneficial and helpful. If you are a listener, thank you. For those listeners who have left comments, comments, um, thank you. Those who t- hit the little heart for the like, thank you. That helps get our podcast not- uh, noticed. Oh, I do need to mention this. Um, Spreaker puts our broadcast and our podcast on YouTube. I don't really watch what's going on on YouTube. Yesterday, I did something on Pete Buttigieg, Buttigieg, if I'm saying his name right, um, in regards to his use of the Bible, and that got posted on YouTube, and well, there's some people who weren't happy (laughs) Okay, and so I don't know what to do there because I'm I'm not really I'm not really in the YouTube world, right? I mean, well, I'm not the YouTube kind of person. I don't even um, I need someone who knows how to work YouTube to kind of go into our channel and and try to make it look like a YouTube channel is supposed to look. I don't even know how to modify anything. I don't know how to do anything with YouTube. I don't even know how how it's there. So um, I, I was caught off guard when I I didn't even realize it was there, and I was on YouTube. And next thing you know, um, I, I guess I was logged into YouTube. I don't even know what I'm logged into YouTube on. And it says my channel. I went to my channel. I'm like, wait, here's all of my messages from Spreaker. And then I saw that people had left comments. I'm like, wait, who are these people? Where did, how did they, how did this even happen? So, um, it, so if you're listening to us on YouTube and thank you, thank you. If you hate me, thank you, I guess. I mean, you know, I, the best thing for a podcaster, you want hate? You want love. What you don't want is no one cares. So that's that's death, right? You don't want the, the ah, whatever. No, I, I've got to say things that make either people agree or hate. You don't, you can't be in the middle and be a podcaster. That's not the way it works. So, um, well, I've got a friend who's in the YouTube world. I may just hand him, uh, say, hey, what 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 is this supposed to look like here? Maybe he'll know. So um, we'll see. And for those who are listening to us all over the place, iHeartRadio continues to be, I think we have more people listening to us on iHeartRadio than anywhere else. And again, I didn't even know we were on iHeartRadio. I haven't even been able to go to iHeartRadio and find us. So thank you. I'm, I don't, wherever you're listening to us, thank you. Spreaker is really our home. That's our base. So the Spreaker app will will allow you to just kind of be a part of everything. So I'm going to kind of push people to go there because that's that's where I'm looking. That's where I'm focused. But if you have any questions, email me at newsif at yahoo.com. Newsif at yahoo.com. Let me know about the introductions. There's your update. Have a great Thursday. Enjoy. God bless.